Okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm doing my thing, and so we're gonna watch the Black Widow trailer here. Yay! Let's do this. Okay, so let's unload this. So we uh, throw back references, um, interestingly enough, to something that, according to the timeline here, has happened not yet. That is dialogue from Endgame, and this takes place between Civil War and Infinity War. So uh, I, I think it's really cool that we get a little insight. I think it's strange that they're, they're going into this part instead of like going further back. And maybe this movie will go further back and they'll fit in a lot of other pieces and it'll kind of be a time jump throughout. But uh, from what I've heard, it's just gonna take place in between those two movies. So, just a heads up from the comics, the Black Widow um, starts off as a villain and then she becomes a good guy after joining with the Avengers several times, only after she doesn't stop killing, that they, you know, don't get along and then she quits. I, I thought she dated Red Guardian in the comics and in this, it looks like he's like a brother or something to her, so I have no idea what's going on there. It looks great. And then Florence Pugh, she looks like she's gonna be taking on that role because there's there's two Black Widows at, at some point in the comics and then they intersect and they still work together. Um, and one of them is blonde and that's why I'm kind of thinking that maybe they're just gonna throw in a little bit of her storyline or something with that and make it work together. I think it's interesting that they made him like this big family and something that's 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 really interesting. So it looks like she'll still sort of have her own team. It looks so good, it got me jazzed. I like the music. I love the cool white outfit that they give her in that one moment there, that was a lot of fun. I think that there's potential in this based on what I knew in the comics that because of the later comics, they have recloned her. So I don't know if we'll get into that. I don't know if they'll make a sequel and they'll get into that, but in terms of fan theory, I think that is possible, depending on how successful this movie does, which we know it'll do well because it is a Marvel movie, that there is a high possibility that we could have Scarlett Johansson's character cloned. That way we don't take away the original sacrifice that's made in Endgame but we still get to see the character. The interesting thing about the Black Widow story is her mind is constantly erased and her origin, um, th there's like three. Like there's a ballerina origin, which is definitely fake. Then there's the mother giving her, her daughter up. And then the other one is where mother dies in a fire and gives up her baby and then uh, gets adopted that way. Either way, she becomes a Russian agent who is uh, gotten her 
ability to be a mother removed. And then on top of that, she gets her, her memory wiped out several times. So I think that there's going to be something introduced in this. I do love that there's Taskmaster. Uh, this, this villain that they're showing, um, if he is prominent in the, in the movie, he is uh, someone who quickly learns every step and every move and every kind of route you're going to take in order to take him down. And he learns as he fights, and so that's kind of his thing. I'm sure she's going to be fighting him. He'll probably be very prominent. There are a few unknown characters in this. I'm sure she's going to have a love interest. Yeah, I, I'm really excited to, just to see what comes of this. I love the casting. Rachel Weisz is in it as well, which is a big deal. So, um, yeah, I just think they're going to open the door to potentially doing clones. And I don't know why I'm going that route, but I think that that is a possibility because Marvel is really focused on the new stuff now. So, this is my fan theory. Seriously, what's yours? Holy crap, it's my birthday! Can you believe it? The greatest gift you could give me would be to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell to stay notified. No, I take that back. The greatest gift you could give me would be if you support us over at Patreon because we give you so much stuff you're never gonna find here. I mean, exclusive. Happy birthday to me! Okay, I'm kidding, it's not my birthday, but do it anyway.